So psoriasis is the clinical diagnosis, meaning by looking at it, you're able to diagnose the disease. We may need to do other investigations. For example, skin scraping, and then look under the microscope. Then we are able to differentiate between psoriasis and fungal infection. Very rarely also, we will need to rule out other skin diseases, such as uh, skin cancer. For mild psoriasis, we will treat with topical treatments. For example, vitamin D creams, topical steroids, and also tar preparation. But moisturizing bath gel as well as moisturizer, they, they are very important in the treatment of psoriasis. One of the mainstay of treatment is still moisturizer. Followed by that, for sometimes moderate to severe cases of psoriasis, then we will use phototherapy, the idea of narrow band UVB, we call uh, eczema light. For severe patients, we will consider systemic treatment. So we will discuss about option of either oral treatment or injection. Oral treatment such as cyclosporine, uh, metrotrexate, acetretin. These are oral treatment, but we need to monitor closely all these patients because potentially uh, there can be side effects. So biologics are actually antibody that actually blocks. They are protein antibodies that actually blocks the problematic pathways of the immune system that cause psoriasis. But nowadays, because the antibody is so specific that they block only a particular pathway that affects psoriasis, so it's very safe medication to be used nowadays. Especially nowadays with um, the advancement in uh, treatment, a uh, patient can definitely have a clear skin. I'll tell them there's, there's no problem with this because um, nowadays the medication is so good that I can even promise them within four weeks, you know, we can clear the skin, psoriatic skin. First of all, is to be compliant, uh, meaning if you're on topical treatment, make sure you continue to apply the topical treatment. If you're on systemic agents, either oral treatment or injection, remember to continue uh, to administer those treatments and come back for follow-up because there are certain medications which we need to monitor the blood and also there may be changes that we need to adjust accordingly. For example, a patient who is very well, uh, just a few rash, in a few months time there may be more rash that we need to change the treatment and uh, avoid triggers.